So we're here in Inkscape, we have all of our layers imported and we've aligned all of our layers. Now, I should have mentioned this earlier in the previous video, make sure you don't resize anything. Keep everything the same size, don't resize it, or we can resize things later. Um, we wanna make sure everything lines up correctly first of all. Now what we'll do, through, do here is we'll go through um, cleaning up these SVG files a little bit. Um, you notice how they all have a white background on them. We want to get rid of that. And so we're going to go ahead and, and do some of those things right now. So let's start out with boundary. We're on the boundary layer. I'm going to come down to my objects window here. And I have this group. This group is everything uh, that the SVG has. And so there's going to be a group that has this white border. There's going to be a group for, you know, the, the fill and the stroke of all this. So we can just kind of look down here, we have some other groups, we can click on this one, you know, and we can see what kind of where these are. And all I want to keep is the geometry of that watershed. And we can see that this one gives me the geometry, this one doesn't, so I'm going to delete that. And I'm just pushing delete to do this one, delete this. Um, that's the geometry, so I'm going to select all these. Um, they're not going to be the geometry. I'm going to delete all those. Uh, this group all the way down to here. I can delete this. Got that. And then we can delete all these above it. Delete those. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come turn the streams EM and heel shade off so that you can see that once we've done this, we now just have this group that, that has the watershed boundary. So we're good to go there. Um, let's go ahead and leave this as it is. Let's do the same thing for streams. So I'm going to turn the boundary off, turn the streams back on, and you can see we have the same problem. So let's go down and find the one that has geometry. Looks like it's that one. So let's go ahead and shift click. So we select everything in between and delete all those. This one has the geometry. And so we'll shift click everything down to here and delete all those. Okay, now you can see that my streams line up there. Okay. Now, I'm going to turn the streams off, turn the boundary back on, and I want to duplicate my boundary. And the reason why is if you'll notice with my heel shade, when I turn my heel shade on or DEM, either of these, they also have a white background. We need to clip that out. We need to be able to clip out the, the heel shade and the DEM so that we only see the, the imagery behind it. And so the way we'll do this is we'll take our boundary. Let's go up to, to the object here. We'll take this group and what I'm going to do is make a new layer actually. And I'm going to name this boundary clip. Um, just so I preserve the original boundary. So we're going to add that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy um, this group. Mine is G2774. You'll have something that's probably named a little differently. So I'm going to control C. I'm going to select boundary clip up here. And I'm going to do control alt V. And what control alt V does is it pastes in place. So it will paste it exactly where it was copied from. And I'm actually going to do this um, maybe two more times. Okay, so that I have three objects here that are all the, exactly the same. So now what I need to do is I need to be able to clip my DEM and my hill shade. Okay, so I'm going to turn the DEM back on. I'm going to select the DEM by clicking on it. I'm going to turn boundary off. 
and I'm going to come into my boundary clip and I'm going to turn off two of the layers. So I only have one of these turned on. I'm going to push shift and I'm going to click that layer. And then I'm going to come to object, clip, set. And now there's my DEM clipped to my watershed boundary. Okay, let's do the same thing for our hill shade. First, let's come back into our boundary clip. You'll notice how the layer I used is gone now because it's applied as a clipping mask. I'm going to turn another one on. I'm going to turn my DEM off. I'm going to turn my hill shade on. Select the hill shade. Shift click to select the boundary. Object. Clip. Set. And now we have my we have our hill shade clipped also. And now I want to do one other thing. And what I want to do here, um, I'm going to add a layer, and I'm going to call this um, boundary imagery. And so I also want to clip the imagery to the boundary in case I want to symbolize imagery within the watershed and without and outside of the watershed differently. Okay, and so I'm going to add that. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to come down to base map. I'm going to copy the whole base map. Control C. Boundary imagery. Control Alt B. And so that will paste that image in place. You can see I have this image here now. I'm going to turn the base map off just so I don't get these things confused. I'm going to turn the hill shade off. And in boundary clip down in my objects, I'm going to turn this last uh, boundary layer on. So I'm going to select, it's already selected, my um, base map. I'm going to shift, hold shift and click the boundary and path. Oops, object, clip, set. And there I have the imagery clipped to the watershed. Now I can also turn the base map back on. And you can see that I, it blends in perfectly to that also. So I'm going to turn this off for now. And I have my hill shade, my DEM, my streams, and my boundary are all still there. Okay. So as you can see, we've been able to take that data from QGIS and we've now imported it into Inkscape and we have these independent layers that we can we'll be able to symbolize differently and with more flexibility than we could if we had just used QGIS alone. Um, we'll get into that some more uh, in the coming videos and get into the details of how to symbolize that and eventually we'll get into how we can add legends and scale bars and more pharaohs into all of this as well.